Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Is this uh, an everything to win and nothing to lose kind of situation that you're walking into with Kelvin? It's always everything to win and everything to lose. Uh, I mean, every fight. No one goes in there expecting anything else. Uh, we're going there to win. Uh, that's why I'm doing it. This is your first fight in the U.S., right? Yeah. How, how's that going so I'm far? I'm to be here. Yeah. Uh, glad to be here in San Antonio. San Antonio has been treating me well. Uh, first fight here, as you said. Pump, ready. Uh, can't wait. Uh, have you have you been here before? Did the, I've just been here. in general, the I've U.S.? Yeah. Uh, I've been to Ohio. My aunt lives there. Uh, she's a citizen as well. So. Uh, okay. I've been there. I've been to California. Uh, first time. First time in Texas. How are you liking the weather? Uh, enjoying it. You should see Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. <laughs> uh, no, I'm enjoying the heat. Uh, the humidity is is okay. Uh, liking it. The U.S. fans don't know a whole lot about you because it is your it is your first time here, first time in a you know pretty high profile mm -hmm. fight. Just tell us about yourself a little bit. Who is uh, you know Nika Musoki? Sorry. A guy um, who, who knocks uh, things out of people's hands? Uh, exactly, <laughs> among other things. Uh, I'm an MMA fighter, uh, plain and simple. Uh, I do everything that comes with that. Uh, I'm adaptable. I find ways to win. Uh, I'm confident standing up. I'm confident on the ground. I'm confident in my wrestling. Uh, no matter what, I proved that in my last fight. Things will go wrong. You just need to suck it up and keep working, and good things will come from that. How was it? How bad was it? When did he have reason to celebrate when you uh, when you no. Of course. I mean, for a split second, I just went, okay, something with me. And then, okay, back to the fight. Uh, in my mind, with the split second, uh, the cameras, they maybe wanted to, to you know, do something bigger. Or I was in there. Uh, I found a way to win. I'm glad. Do you remember the rest of the fight? Or yeah, of course. Uh, I remember everything. I remember what happened <coughs> before in the knockdown as well. I remember the, the end of the first round. Uh, the second round. Uh, you ever faced that kind of adversity in your career before? Yeah, I'm not that type. Uh, I've been, had an eye shot. Uh, but you know, every fight is, is different. Uh, that was what I had to, to work against uh, at that time. Uh, Do you think Gaston? that again if you did any problems. I'm sorry, I didn't. You took him a lot down after that, after he got hit like that, you took him down a lot, basically mm -hmm. took his back, uh, basically dominated the grapple mm -hmm. exchanges. You think that's going to happen again if, if, uh, if Kelvin is uh, if Kelvin is a better guy on the feet, you're going to look at take, take it on the ground or whatever happens after. We'll have to wait, wait and see. It's a fight. Uh, I'll do whatever it takes. We'll stand him back. We'll wrestle. We'll grapple. We'll do everything. We'll work mixed martial artists. And, uh, the majority of critics, um, you know, think he's going to win. He's the favorite, mostly because people know him a lot more than they know you. How does that, how does that feel coming in? Is there less pressure because of that, or? No, I always put pressure on myself. Uh, not that I intend on doing it. Uh, I'm here to win, nothing else. And like with all due respect, people may be favorites. That's up to the fans, up to the media to, to decide who who goes in the uh, odds favorite. I know what I'm there to do. And I find, I take confidence and take pride in that and yeah, stay focused. What do you know about your opponent? Uh, he's tough, uh, hands down. He's, he's a tough guy. Uh, he comes hard, uh, comes with great intensity, uh, hits hard, great wrestling. Uh, he's a tough opponent. It's quite the step up. This is your third fight in the UFC, and you're right up on the co-main event. How do you feel about that? That's a pretty big step. And this is the first fight in San Antonio. Enjoying it. Honestly, more than anything, I'm just enjoying it. I'm glad to be here. I'm, gl I'm glad for the opportunity, and I intend on making the most of it. You talked about putting pressure on yourself. Do you feel extra pressure fighting a ranked fighter, or does that not matter to you? It's an extra, uh, well, what can I call it? incentive to, to do well. Uh, it triggers me to perform. Uh, it pumps me up. Mm -hmm. You train with them, Alexander, out in, uh, in Sweden, right? Mm -hmm. How, what is that like? Obviously, you know, he's at the top of uh, his division. You know, he's people think that he beat John Jones last year. Um, what's it like training with him? You learn a lot. Of course. Yeah. Uh, what he's done, like, first, more than anything, we're friends. 
what he has done, he has really paved the way for the rest of us coming out of Sweden. Uh, he beat guys consecutively before the, the title shot. A fight that I, among others, thought he won, but that's all in the past. I know he's focused and ready to uh, leave no doubt next time they meet. And uh, more than anything, it's inspiring to see uh, a friend, a fellow fighter, uh, countryman, uh, do well uh, on the highest stage. Do you kind of want to follow in his footsteps, and, you know, in a way, like climb up the rankings and get, a, get a title yeah. shot? Yeah. Of course. Of course. Well, since we've already opened that door, we've heard John Jones say he won't fight Gustafsson in Sweden. What do you think about that? I don't know. <laughs> First, he had problems signing the papers. I don't know. Uh, that's that's his his thing to address. Yeah, but you think he's probably going to beat him anywhere they have the fight? Toronto, Vegas, Sweden, it doesn't matter? I believe in Alex. He's my, he's my man. He's got this. How long have you been a full-time fighter? Full time, full time. Um, I don't know. Uh, getting the content in the UFC has surely made things easier, uh, for sure. Uh, it's been a positive change and made my my family's life easier. Your family? Uh, me and my girl. Yeah. What are we doing for a job? What uh, are we doing for a day? Uh, after that, uh, I had plans to train. Uh, did every job you can imagine, uh, <laughs> just to be able to train. But I, I guess that's the story of every fight. Huh? What kind of jobs? What was the worst job? Uh, I've done everything. I've bounced, worked as a bouncer, clean. I've worked at the stores. I have uh, you name it. Was um Gustafson uh was he <coughs> instrumental in getting you um you know helping you get into the UFC and, and that kind of stuff? Was he did, was he was in he there? Way? Um like did he did he tell the UFC about you? Did he was like what was his like what was his like uh, the steps that he took to help you get into the UFC and help you get where you are now? Uh, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, I know the UFC. You don't you don't end up in the UFC without reason, and you know you just need to believe in that. Okay. Just put in the work, uh, it will take some time, uh, longer time for others, shorter time for, for others, uh, and you'll be there. I, I really can't answer how, in what way you might have helped. Right. I'm sure you did, but... He's not here uh, this weekend? No, he's not here. He's back home. Do you think the hype uh, on Kelvin has been justified? He went on the show, obviously, upset Uriah Hall. Um, do you think it's justified? I don't look too much into it. Uh, what I do know, he won the show. He won his coming to fights in the UFC. That's the fact. Do you feel like he's a favorite? Do you feel like he's like the UFC is looking at him as a favorite? No, I don't view it as that way. Uh, he's a tough opponent. It's a step up, ranking wise. Uh, I'm here to take it. How big is MMA in Sweden now compared to a couple of years ago? Uh, MMA is growing. Uh, it's getting better. Uh, more and more attention is put on, uh, you know, it's easier to access uh, shows. Uh, media is covering our uh, progress internationally. Uh, so all in all, the trend is good. Still, there's some things that I need working on. Uh, but we'll get there. Eventually, sponsorship opportunities uh, will be one major step uh, forward for us, for us fighters, more than anything. Uh, so, yeah. I assume you want to be on the Sweden card coming up in the fall. Yeah. <laughs> you ask any guy if he wants to fight in the UFC, he'll say yes. And then ask him if he wants to fight in his or her hometown. Yeah. Oh, you got the answer right there. <laughs> well, a lot of guys, it's a stressful experience. You've got every family member that you've, been, that you've never met calling you for tickets. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's a good thing, though. Uh, I mean, uh, it could be pressure fighting at home. Uh, you could do it any way you want. Just make the most of it. Enjoy, enjoy the ride. I mean, 
I'm here, I get to see the U.S., I get to fight, fight in the U.S. Last time I was in Brazil, I fought a Brazilian in his backyard. Just step up, do what you have to do, and get to the level. That's it. You found out you were in your hometown in the local circuit, right? Sorry? You found out you were your hometown in the local circuit, yeah. right? Your, your mom come to your fights? Your dad come to your fights? Uh, yeah, my mom has been to my fights. Uh, she hasn't been able to meet the trip over uh, now for the latest UFC fight. Uh, for this fight, I have my girlfriend. She's flying tonight uh, from Sweden. Uh, I have my sister. She's at our aunt's. She lives in North Ohio. So they'll be joining us. Uh, so we'll be there taking over the stance. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, guys.